What's going on everybody? It is your boy Dylan Matthews back at it again with another video for Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. First and foremost, make sure you follow Sports Radio 92.9 The Game on all social media platforms. We're everywhere on all social media platforms. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, it's all at 929 The Game. Make sure you subscribe to the 92.9 The Game YouTube channel. Get all the latest content, all the latest videos first. We got your notification bell on as well, so you'll be notified when we drop something new. And you can be the first one to check it out, first one to comment, all that good stuff. First one to like as well. Make sure you like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to our channel like I just said. If you would like, you can follow myself at underscore Dylan Matthews on Instagram and Twitter. I'm on Facebook as well, just Dylan Matthews. And also, if you like what you see today and right now, you can subscribe to my personal YouTube channel. It's just Dylan Matthews, D-Y-L-A-N-M-A-T-H-E-W-S. Just one T. Gotta remember that. It's just one T. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get to the video topic today. The Atlanta Falcons, the 2022 schedule has been posted yet already, of course, because we're still in the 2021 season. But we do know the Atlanta Falcons 2022 opponents. So I'm going to give you guys that list and we're going to react to it together. So let's take a look at the Atlanta Falcons 2022 opponents at home in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. They're going to be taking on the Arizona Cardinals, the San Francisco 49ers, the Cleveland Browns, the Pittsburgh Steelers, of course, the Carolina Panthers, New Orleans Saints, and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Also, the LA Chargers and the Chicago Bears. Now, as far as away from Mercedes-Benz Stadium, the Atlanta Falcons will be taking on the Baltimore Ravens, the Cincinnati Bengals, the Los Angeles Rams, the Seattle Seahawks, the Carolina Panthers, New Orleans Saints, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, of course, and the Washington football team. So we do get an extra home game. So we'll have, uh, what's that, eight, nine home games and eight away games. Make sure I have that right. Let me make sure my math is right real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Nine home games, eight away games, making up a 17-game schedule for 18 weeks. So, quickly, just my thoughts on the home games. We'll go through every one. Arizona Cardinals, obviously, that will be tough. They are a win right now team, playoff team right now, obviously, with Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins, still got James Conner running it. Don't know the future of A.J. Green and how long, you know, if he'll be sticking around for next season, but that's still a good team. Don't know the, you know, the exact future of J.J. Watt. He's been injured. They are bringing him off the list, so don't know exactly what J.J. Watt's future is going to be with the team. But the foundational pieces are there. The Arizona Cardinals are going to be a problem. Same with the San Francisco 49ers. Even if Jimmy Garoppolo isn't there next year, they'll have Trey Lance, who is, you know, a good prospect as well. So, you know, they have a great run game, a very top-notch defense. One of the Bosa brothers and the other Bosa brothers coming to town is actually, yeah, coming to town as well. The LA Chargers. So we'll see Nick and Joey Bosa in 2022-2023 uh, 2023 season. Um, so San Francisco 49ers obviously played them this year. Things didn't go well. You know, we tried to keep our playoff hopes alive against them this year in San Fran. They'll be having to come to Mercedes-Benz Stadium next year. So we'll see, but tough schedule so far at home. Cleveland Browns, they're a tough team. We know about Nick Chubb. We'll see if Baker Mayfield gets that contract extension, but he will be the quarterback next year at least. They have already picked up his options, so foundational pieces there for them as well. Have a really good defense with Miles Garrett, you know, so look, it's, 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 this is a tough season for the Atlanta Falcons next year. Pittsburgh Steelers. Their playoff team right now, they just eked in. We all know what happened in that Sunday night game last night with that almost being the tie. They almost didn't make it. But Big Ben, you know, probably, I mean, he has said publicly that this is his last season. So we don't know what they're going to be at quarterback. But, you know, they do have Najee Harris. They do have T.J. Watt, who tied Michael Strahan's single-season sack record with 22 and a half. And God, the Falcons could have drafted, but I'll leave that there. Anywho, that could still be a very tough game, and especially, you know, depending on how the Steelers handle the quarterback situation. Also, you know, Chase Claypool, Juju Smith-Schuster. The Steelers still have a very good team. They could be missing a big, big, big piece in their roster when it comes to that quarterback position. So we'll see how they fill that hole, but still, it'll be a very tough game for the Atlanta Falcons. Carolina Panthers, we know about them. We don't know too much about the Carolina Panthers and what they're going to be, you know, is Sam Darnold going to be the quarterback? Obviously, the Cam Newton experiment didn't work out the second time around either. Um, 
So the Carolina Panthers are kind of a big what if. The New Orleans Saints, you know, they probably will stick it out with Jameis Winston because he did perform very well while he was the quarterback for the New Orleans Saints. And, you know, the Saints are always the Saints. It's a tough game. We know about that. Tampa Bay, Tom Brady, you know, they're going to be a tough game. All division games are a tough game as well. L.A. Chargers, we know about Justin Herbert and the show he put on Sunday Night Football last night. The foundation is there for them as well. So that's a tough game. Chicago, we don't know what they're going to – I mean, we know about Justin Fields. The foundation is there too. Good defense. Offense, you know, kind of spit and sputter throughout the season. But, you know, Justin Fields in year two, how much will he be improved? That's going to be a tough game as well. No easy games really for – the, the the Falcons coming up next season. I mean, the Carolina Panthers may be the easiest game, but Washington football team um, as an away game, we'll get into that one. Baltimore Ravens with Lamar Jackson healthy, and they'll have all their running backs back with J.K. Dobbins, and you know they'll have their full strength of weapons back. The Cincinnati Bengals, we'll see what they're doing this year with Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, Mike Hilton on the defensive end, and Joe Mixon. That's a tough game. The Los Angeles Rams, you already about know about them. Their Super Bowl of bust with you know, Aaron Donald, Matthew Stafford will be coming back. They have Jalen Ramsey, the Seattle Seahawks. We don't know the future of Russell Wilson, but, you know, they're never an easy game or, an, you know, easy out as long as they have Russell Wilson in that, with, on that team. Obviously, we've got the, the Panthers and Saints and the Buccaneers all at home. We know about them. And then the Washington football team as well. We don't know what the quarterback situation there is going to be, but we know about that stingy defense. Don't know if Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to come not come back and not on the quarterback position, but they will have Scary Terry. Uh, so, man, I mean, this is a tough, tough schedule for the Falcons. Because, I mean, if you look at how many playoff teams right now they're going to face next year, the Arizona Cardinals, the, uh, the San Francisco 49ers, Cleveland Browns didn't make the playoffs, but they were a French playoff team. The Pittsburgh Steelers made the playoffs. Uh, the New Orleans Saints almost made the playoffs. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are in the playoffs. The LA Chargers just came down the last night, and they were almost in the playoffs. The Baltimore Ravens came down to Week 18. Cincinnati Bengals are in the playoffs. Los Angeles Rams are in the playoffs. Uh, the, and uh, so, so yeah, I mean, we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, facing six playoff teams next year. And we faced one of those teams twice in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So it's not going to be an easy... It's not going to be an easy road for the Atlanta Falcons. When we talk about playoff teams, the Baltimore Ravens, we know they're a playoff caliber team. Lamar Jackson just got hurt. Seattle Seahawks, you know, Russell Wilson missed a couple of games. They might have been in the running for a playoff spot. We know the New Orleans Saints were right there. We know the Cleveland Browns were right there. So it's going to be a tough, tough road for the Falcons next year and the Falcons team that this draft is the most probably single important draft right now for the new regime. Terry Fontenot has to have a lot of hits in this draft. And I'm not talking about just number eight overall. Obviously, he's got a hit on that, but he's got a hit on the second round pick, the third round pick. This draft needs to be a lot like the draft we had in 2016, where we got Deion Jones, where we got Keanu Neal. Um, it has to be like that draft. It has to be a draft where we get starters all across the board and guys that can come in right away and make an impact. So, this is a very, very important draft. I mean, I know it's only the second draft for this regime, but it's the single most important draft for this team because, I mean, even though the team doesn't necessarily want to say it, this is a rebuilding team. This team needs everything besides a quarterback. And Arthur Smith did come out and say Matt Ryan is the quarterback for next year. So, you know, that is what it is. And that's totally fine. You know, uh, Matt Ryan has not been the problem. And I know we got some Matt Ryan haters, but... He hasn't been the issue. The issue was the defense this year. The issue was the offensive line this year. We have a lot of things to fix on this Atlanta Falcons football team, and it's going to have to be built through the draft. You know, we'll get some free agents, but this team is going to have to be fixed through the draft. We can't keep restructuring contracts. We're going to have to, you know, get some get some new blood in here, get the, get the, get the money right. So this Atlanta Falcons football team has a lot of work to do when it starts with the NFL draft, and we have a very, very tough schedule next year. We'll see how we fare. You know, it, this is this is it. This it's going to be a tough test um, to see how to see how well Terry Fontenot hits in this draft. Because, like I said, we we have at least at least need three starters out of this draft. At least, obviously, the number the uh, eighth overall pick is going to have to be a starting caliber player. Second round picks are probably a starting caliber player. 
And I mean, the third round pick should probably be a fringe starter as well. So it's important draft for Terry Fontenot in this regime. Very tough schedule next year. We'll see how the Falcons handle it. They had a, I, I think that this uh, Falcons team, Arthur Smith uh, and Terry Fontenot, this new regime had a very good first year, almost doubling the win total, going from four wins to seven wins. It was an improvement. There was, there was improvement there. We went from, you know, losing most of our one score games to being seven and two in one score game. So it was a very good year for Arthur Smith, but it has to continue. And uh, we're, we're going to have to rebuild this team, like it or not. That just is what it is. But guys, let me know what you think about the Falcons 2022 opponents. I'll go over them again real quickly here. Arizona Cardinals at home along with the San Francisco 49ers, Cleveland Browns, Pittsburgh Steelers, the Carolina Panthers, New Orleans Saints, and Tampa Bay Buccaneers, of course, along with the LA Chargers and the Chicago Bears. Our away opponents, of course, are the Panthers, Saints, and Buccaneers again, along with the uh, Baltimore Ravens, Cincinnati Bengals, Los Angeles Rams, Seattle Seahawks, and the Washington football team. Tough, tough opponents. I really don't see any cakewalks in, in those games. Maybe the easiest game is the Carolina Panthers, the Washington football team, but we split with the Panthers this year and we lost to the Washington football team. Granted, it was a game we should have won, but we still lost. So it's going to be a tough 2022 for the Atlanta Falcons. We'll see how they fare. Again, it starts with the draft and getting the draft right. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to our channel, turn your notification bells on for the 92.9 The Game YouTube page so you'll get notified as soon as we drop some more content. Some mock draft will be coming soon. We know we have the eighth overall pick now, so mock drafts are coming your way. So stay tuned. Follow 92.9 The Game on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the social media platforms. We're everywhere on social media at 929 The Game. If you would like, you can follow myself at underscore Dylan Matthews on Facebook, on Instagram, Twitter. I'm on Facebook as well. If you want, you can also, if you like seeing my face, you can subscribe to my personal YouTube channel. It's just Dylan Matthews, D-Y-L-A-N-M-A-T-H-E-W-S. Just one T in Matthews. I know a lot of people put two in there, but I'm just one. I'm special. So just one T in Matthews. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like. And again, like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel. 2022 opponents for the Falcons will be no joke, but hey, we're the Falcons. We rise up. We can handle it. Again, guys, like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel. Until I talk to you guys next time, stay true to Atlanta. Believe in Atlanta. Peace.